Good afternoon. The chance for rain and thunder showers will go away as we go overnight with a low around 60 in Sioux Falls, 54 in Aberdeen, 54 in Pierre, and 51 in Rapid City. The heat returns tomorrow with partly cloudy skies, 88 in Sioux Falls, 82 in Aberdeen and Pierre, and 75 in Rapid City. The rest of the weekend is going to be hot. We'll take a closer look in just a little bit. Kelloland's first at four starts right now. Live from Kelloland Media Group, Kelloland News first at four. We talk with firefighters about the dangers of extension cords when it comes to sparking a house fire. Plus, the Garrison School District has entered into the world of electric vehicles as it shows off its new e-bus. And later, it is a big day for NSYNC fans as the boy band releases its first song in 20 years. We look back at when they performed in Sioux Falls. Good afternoon and thanks for tuning in to First at Four. I'm Don Jorgensen. And I'm Kelly Volk. One person was hurt following a crash in Minnehaha County this afternoon. The crash happened in Hartford at about 1 p.m., shutting down the highway through town. A witness tells Cuddleland News that a woman driving a pickup was thrown from the vehicle. She landed on the road as the pickup went into the ditch. Authorities tell us that the woman was hurt, but we don't know how badly. Several attorneys general, including South Dakota's, are asking the parent company of Pornhub to close a loophole that they say jeopardizes children. Attorney General Marty Jackley says that an employee admitted that there is no way to confirm the identity of people uploading content onto Pornhub. Jackley says that means criminals could up upload videos of victims, including children, to make money. The attorneys general say that Pornhub needs to change its policy to better protect children. Jackley is working with state lawmakers on a bill that would make AI-generated child pornography a crime in South Dakota. As we head deeper into fall, Sioux Falls Fire Rescue is reminding people to only use extension cords in temporary situations. Damaged or overloaded extension cords cause more than 3,000 fires a year in the U.S. A Sioux Falls fire inspector says any kind of appliance that draws a lot of electricity should be plugged directly into the wall outlet. Because that cord is not designed, like an extension cord for example, is not designed to carry that amount of, of, uh, of load and it'll heat up because it's you're basically cramming a lot of electricity through a small uh, conductor. He says people should never plug in space heaters using an extension cord or a power strip. We'll look at more reminders when it comes to extension cords coming up on Kelloland News at 6. A new affordable housing complex is now open in Rapid City. This week, local, state, and federal officials gathered for a ribbon cutting for the Radiant, a 42-unit affordable apartment housing complex on Racine Street. The project was developed by Common Bond Communities. The company plans to build similar projects throughout Rapid City. There is a new exhibit at the Mary Jo Wagner Arboretum on the east side of Sioux Falls. Crews are finishing up work on the East Sioux Falls History Plaza. The Arboretum features wetlands, gardens, and native plants across 155 acres. Well, a beautiful day out there today. Yes. Not bad. Had a little rain earlier, a little sprinkle, but... And we've traveled back in time. Yes, we are back to July. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Megan, more heat to come in our way. It is going to be a hot weekend. We are actually looking at some rep record temperatures this afternoon again tomorrow sunday and even monday in southeastern kelloland right now 88 degrees which is just two degrees off of our record in sioux falls south winds at five miles an hour and we're sitting with mostly sunny skies in rapid city at 72 southeast winds are at eight miles an hour we do have a few clouds in eastern Kelloland as we take a look at satellite. And under those clouds, we do have some rain and thunder showers. Nothing is severe as these move to the north and east. You can see by Lake Norton, Arlington Beach, between Bruce and Brookings. Again, these are all moving to the northeast. Nothing severe, some lightning and could be pockets of heavy rain though. For the rest of the afternoon and into this evening, we do have a chance of severe weather, mainly along and east of I-29. Hail and strong winds are going to be the main threats. Right now, 86 in Yankton, 66 in Brookings, 70 in Sisseton, 74 in Mobridge, and 64 degrees in Custer. 
For tonight, that chance of rain and thunder showers will continue moving east out of our area for partly cloudy skies. A little around 60 in Sioux Falls, 54 in Aberdeen, 54 in Pier, and 51 in Rapid City. Tomorrow, partly cloudy skies, 88 in Sioux Falls, 82 in Aberdeen and Pier, and 75 in Rapid City. And we'll have a southeast breeze helping warm us up. Southeastern Kelloland could see a few records in jeopardy as we go through tomorrow and Monday. We'll take a, another look at your weekend in just a little bit. Thanks, Megan. On Capitol Hill, lawmakers pause from their work to remember Senator Dianne Feinstein. The California Democrat died Thursday night at the age of 90, and even her political rivals agree that she was a trailblazer. Erica Brown has a reaction from Washington. Earlier this morning, we lost a giant in the Senate. The Senate held a moment of silence for Dianne Feinstein, her desk draped in black as colleagues from both sides of the aisle pay tribute to the California Democrat. We look at that desk and we know what we have lost. But we also give thanks. Thanks to someone so rarefied, so brave, so graceful a presence. Dianne was a trailblazer in her beloved home state of California and our entire nation are better for her dogged advocacy and diligent service. The morning before her death, Feinstein was still at work. Mrs. Feinstein. She voted. She voted to make sure that our country would continue to move forward and not shut down. That was Diane. She did her job every day. Senator Feinstein had announced her retirement at the end of this term, but now it will be up to California's governor to appoint a temporary replacement before the election next November. Questions. They will be big shoes to fill. The legendary fighter served in the Senate longer than any woman in American history. She was a historic figure, trailblazer for women, and a great friend. Shh. And over in the House, let us just pray that she rests in peace. Lawmakers locked in a battle to avoid a government shutdown stopped for a moment of silence. Her career was, by any standards, historic. Feinstein died at her home here in Washington, where flags are at half staff, in salute to a political pioneer. Erica Brown, CBS News, Washington. Former Presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton also saluted Feinstein, calling her a trailblazer and a champion of civil rights and civil liberties.